All righty. So I'm here to discuss uh, the Bermuda Blitz that I posted yesterday on the channel for Canada's Wonderland. Next week, we are moving to a different park. We're going to be doing Great Adventure, Six Flags Great Adventure, and we're going to be starting off with a Giga. Um, so hopefully you guys are excited for that. But nonetheless, um, a lot of the questions were asking, where would this fit in Dragonfire's plot of land? Well, uh, go-karts would be a part of that equation. So there is plenty of room. In fact, the coaster that um, Peninsula of Thrills on Instagram created, so huge thank you to Peninsula of Thrills. Go check him out on Instagram. Uh, built for Canada's Wonderland. Again, these are just our versions, concepts, or ideas. This isn't anything close to reality. Um, it's part of our What If series doesn't even take up all of the land that we drew in red there. So yes, removing Dragonfire could make room for it. Um, and yes, even with Leviathan, a coaster can fit there. Leviathan towers over that plot of land at least 90 feet plus above. So a mock launch coaster or a Bermuda Blitz or something from the coma could fit extremely nicely in that location. Um, so that question that a lot of people had is definitely out of the equation. Um, a lot of people were also suggesting would Cedar Fair work with someone other than BNM, RMC, and Mock at the moment, or even GCI? And the answer is maybe not necessarily right at this moment, but there is going to come a time where Cedar Fair is going to have to start purchasing from other people. Um, costs are going to start to come into that picture as well. Uh, the cost of steel is rising. Tariffs are causing prices to rise. And uh, coasters like these new Vacoma launch coasters or these Vacoma Blitz coasters are going to be options that parks are going to have to look at. They're extremely cheap and pack a powerful punch. And a lot of enthusiasts really like them. And these would definitely be GP pleasers. So you're going to definitely see parks um, looking at mo coaster models like this to compensate for those pricey price tagged B&M coasters um, that um, parks are building. You're also looking at B&Ms taking up way too much room. So a park like Canada's Wonderland can't continue to keep building B&M coasters as they require a huge out and back layout. And unfortunately, those plots of lands are definitely running out at parks like Canada's Wonderland. So you're going to start to see them have to look at other models like GCI, Mock, maybe of a coma blitz down the road. Um, but nonetheless, this is just a concept. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'm trying to think of what other questions people had. Um, why do I think of a coma blitz could come to a Cedar Fair Park or even Canada's Wonderland? A lot of it has to do with replacing Dragonfire. So if they're going to replace Dragonfire at Canada's Wonderland, which I'll get to in a second as to why I think that, um, it's going to require something that has similar elements, um, a similar kind of feel and we wanted like something uh, similar to Maverick over at Cedar Point and a Vacoma Blitz was our best option. Um, I still think that a mock multi-launch coaster is more likely than a Bermuda Blitz so this is not me saying hey I think we're gonna get a Bermuda Blitz at Wonderland. This is me just discussing the slight possibility of a Bermuda Blitz coming to Canada's Wonderland and I know that uh, Bermuda Blitz is uh, typically has lift hills and this model features a launch so I apologize for that um, but nonetheless um, I, I, I ultimately think a Bermuda Blitz or the Vacoma style launch coasters would fit perfectly in Dragonfire's plot of land and into the medieval section of the park. Now, let's get into why I think Canada's Wonderland might be removing Dragonfire before other coasters like Wild Beast, Time Warp, Flight Deck, and Mindbuster. Wild Beast is receiving work to it yet again. This is like its fourth, fifth, or sixth season receiving full retracking. Um, not full retracking, but it's becoming full retracking with the work they're doing. Um, and at a recent ACE event at Canada's Wonderland, they said that there were no plans to remove Flight Deck in uh, anywhere near the near future. And uh, Wild Beast, again, retracking Time Warp. If they're not removing Flight Deck, I don't think Time Warp is going to be removed that can fit anything other than a flat ride. And then Mindbuster. Mindbuster is something that's high on my list for removal. But again, if they're removing Mindbuster, it's probably going to be an RMC, a mock double launch, or even just a Splashworks upgrade. I'm focusing on Dragonfire because Aerodynamics Coaster seems to be on the get rid of at Cedar Fair chain. Cedar Fair seems to be getting rid of all their Aerodynamics Coasters, and it wouldn't surprise me if Dragonfire with a declining attendance um, and a uh, rising maintenance cost gets removed. 
Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video on Dragonfire being removed for a Bermuda Blitz Ghoster by Vacoma at Canada's Wonderland. Comment down below if you'd rather see a mock double launch or a Vacoma Bermuda Blitz coming to Canada's Wonderland in the near future. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment if you want to, and subscribe if you haven't. Have a good one, guys. Bye.